Welcome to the Yoko Dojo Karate channel. Anan Kokata is approximately 100 years old and in 100 years combat sports have evolved a lot. In today's video we are going to place the techniques from the Anan Kokata into more modern uh, combat sports environment and we are going to show you how you can apply these techniques on a person who doesn't wear a jacket. So George is not wearing a jacket today to emphasize that these techniques are no gi techniques. When you have a jacket, life is much easier and in the next video we are going to show you what you can do when the opponent is, is wearing a jacket. Let's start with the core concept of the kata. We have shown in the Bunkai video, link in the description, that the core concept is Uchiu ke with an angle change to take an angle punch, punch, or in the other direction, take an angle with uchiuke, jam the person with the uchiuke, punch and punch. So George is going to hit me with a straight punch. I'm going to block it first. I'm going to jam him and take an angle and punch and punch. The problem with this technique is that uh, I may miss the uh, jamming uchiuke. So if he punches me, I block and I miss the uchiuke, or he can just retract his arm, then I'm going to eat his next uh, attack. We can avoid that by George punching. When he punches, I come in here. I'm still at an angle to him, and I'm in a safe place. Even when he retracts this arm, he can punch me with this arm. He can hit me with the other arm, and we are going to, to discuss that later, but you can see that I'm, I'm blocking it. So George is going to punch. I'm blocking it and coming into here. Here I am safe, I can punch him, I can punch him, but he can't punch me with that hand. He can only punch me with his forehand, which I can see. Let's continue from here. So he punches, uh, I come into a safe place, uh, I can punch him, and now I have an advantage. But he's going to start turning into me, so in order to keep that advantage, I have to keep going. And one more time. I'm coming in, start punching and coming out. Let's show it on the other side too. So George is punching, I'm coming in and coming out. These are short, short punches. These are not knockout punches. So how can we finish the fight? Well, to finish the fight, we have the Uchi Uke punch, punch. And from here, there is a kick and another punch and we are going to reinterpret that. So George is going to punch, I'm coming in, I'm hitting him. As he starts moving, I start turning to punching him, and if I can overwhelm him with punches, he's going to shell up. Once he shelled up, I end up behind, and from here I can grab his jaw with one hand, with both hands, doesn't matter, or his shoulder. Uh, with the kick, I'm going to kick his foot, I'm pulling him down, and then here's the punch. So let's see that at realistic speed, he's punching, I'm coming in. And in the other direction. We have seen what to do against a straight punch, but the opponent might be attacking with hooks. When the opponent attacks with a hook, I'm coming in, grabbing his arm, and uh, using the shtoke against his uh, neck, as we've shown in the Bunkai video. From here, I'm going to switch the grip into an arm lock. This is a uh, gedambarai, here. And now, by uh, I can control his head. If he's trying to move that way, I can pull him back. If he's trying to turn into me, I can push him away. And if he's trying to stand up, I can use his arm. So from here I can start kicking him, I'm spinning him around, more kick, kick, punch, spin him. If he's trying to stand up, I'm resisting it first, suddenly releasing him and throwing him backwards. We ended up in, in this situation and I want to switch to an arm lock. I'm going to go over his arm bring it back here and come to the side. So at more realistic speed, 
what could happen is that he is uh, going to escape. When he's escaping, he's going to weave under the arm on his neck, and now he is facing me. Uh, from here, if he's holding me, he wants to wrestle, and what I can do is I can pop this hand up and come into our safe space again, Uchiyuke jamming him, and I can start punching. So let's show that at realistic speed. You're punching. I'm coming in, switching grips. Now he's escaping. He's grabbing me. I'm popping this up, coming up to the outside, and I, I can continue punching. Let's show this also to the other side. So you're going to come with a hook, which I'm grabbing. I'm switching my grip to an arm lock. I'm going to get to work. He's going to escape it by weaving under the head. If he's uh, getting an overhook on the arm, grab the arm, then he's not going to punch. If he doesn't, then he may want to punch. In that case, I just, so if you are trying to punch, I just pull my hand back. I pop this up, come over here, and now I'm in a, in a relatively straight position and I can get to work with punches. Let's look at some applications of uh, these techniques. The most common attack on a street fight is the person coming up to me, pushing me, and then coming in with a big haymaker overhand. So in that case, I could apply the same technique. So George is coming in with a big overhand. I could come in close and grab him and continue from here as we discussed before. But there is no need to. Th this is such a slow punch that I can just come in and, uh, st and straight starting working on him. So he is punching. I'm coming into this, state, into this relatively safe position and start working on him. The opponent may not come with a nice straight punch or a nice hook, but rather he might just be punching something that's between a hook and a straight Oh, and many of them. He's trying to overwhelm me with volume. What I have to do then is I have to defend myself. So when he starts punching, I'm putting my hands up. Uh, my, my palms are against my uh, forehead. And when he's punching, I'm trying to deflect them as, as best as I can. When, he's, uh, when I see a little bit of opening, I can come in. Or if there is no opening, if he's hitting straight punches, then I can go in. Or I can also go in when he's retracting his hand. And what I want to do is go in, grab him as before, and then here we can continue working. Next, we are going to look at what can go wrong. So when I, I try to move in and try to grab him, it may happen that he grabs me. The worst case to me is that I may end up with him holding my hand from underneath and pinning it under his armpit and holding my neck with the other hand. If, if I get into this situation, I have to first make sure that he can't punch me. If I'm letting this hand loose, he can just quickly throw an elbow at me, an elbow and I, I need to prevent that. The second thing is I, I want to free this hand. If I keep pulling, that won't work. What I can do instead, I'm turning this down, and this way I can change the grip up here. So this hand is here, he is holding it tight. I have to escape this hand. I'm going to turn it down and bring this over. So now we have a symmetric grip. From here I can start grappling, I can try to throw him, I can move him around. When I want to move him around, I'm going to spin the back foot around on a big circle so that I can pull him and then I can go in for a throw. So this is option one. Option one, once we have achieved a symmetric grip, I can start wrestling. The other option is that I don't want to wrestle him, I want to keep on striking him, then I'm going to, to change this hand from the back of his neck over to the other side, push him away, possibly push with both hands, and come to the side. As the kata teaches, I want to come to the side 
And now I have control of that hand and I can start working as before. So once again, my hand gets stuck here and is holding my neck. Uh, first thing first, I have to uh, fix his arm so that he can punch me. I have to free my other arm. And uh, now I can either start throwing or I'm taking this hand from here over here with this hand and then trying to uh, get into a more advantageous position. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like the content please help us out and hit the like button. I left links to relevant videos in the description, please feel free to check them out. Uh, in the next video we are going to continue with the Ananku Kata and we are going to look at modern uh, combat sports techniques utilizing concepts from Ananku when we have a karate gi jacket. If you like this kind of uh, content, please consider subscribing to our channel.